have too many dramas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, mm, I think this jinx could help Lily Pong's, uh, yeah, Lily Pong's situation because it can make her wiser True. and become humble. True. That's the conclusion. Ma, see, Dr. Kevin. <clears throat> yes. Yes, <laughs> Professor Kevin over here. <laughs> Professor Kevin. All right. Now, uh, we're actually going to be looking at some more today, and uh, you, I think we need to kind of just dissect the whole concept of jinxes a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're going to be watching a music video at the moment, so we're going to dedicate this to you, so hopefully you can get over your jinx and just slip this out. Here we go. Shoom. You're watching all that, you! you. Yeah! <laughs> you! <laughs> and of course, today we're talking about jinxes. Jinxes. Jinxes, jinxes, jinxes. And you know, when we were talking during the music video, because I said we had to kind of dissect mm -hmm. jinxes just a little bit more, I think that uh, we've come down to it that uh, jinxes end up coming faults or something that we end up blaming somebody else for, you know what I mean? Mm. And, uh, you know, we, we end up having it from a, we end up making those decisions from a very weak heart in mm. state, I think. But we gotta realize that jinxes, they come up really frequently, uh, not frequently. Mm. So if, we, if it happens two or three times, then we end up blaming ourselves and making, uh, creating a jinx by ourselves. True. True, so. true, true, true. So um, I'm guessing that uh, we can just not pass these off as a big deal and they'll mm. go away? Yes, because really? they're coincidences. Coincidences? Coincidences. Okay, well, I hope our second letter today has a, isn't that bad of a coincidence, so let's check it out. All right. Then, <clears throat> our second letter is from uh, Uppsala, mm. from Brazil. Ooh, Brazil. Brazil. Hello, Isaac and lovable Kevin. I want to tell you about a jinx I've had for about three years. I've been dating my boyfriend. But first, I'd like to um, ask that you not criticize me. Okay. I wonder what it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, while going out with my boyfriend, and without telling him, of course, I went on blind dates and even met some guys who seemed interested in me. Oof. Okay, now I know why you guys don't want me. Now you know, I know why you don't want me to criticize you. Okay? <laughs> but the amazing thing is, whenever I was with another guy, my boyfriend would call me. Mm -hmm. He called the time he ne normally never called. And even while we were in the middle of a long fight and not talking. Okay. I seriously wondered if he was spying on me somewhere, and I also think maybe we we were meant for each other. Do you think my jinx is good or bad? Should I be happy about it? Um. Yeah, I know you told me not to criticize you, um, but um, I think you're a little on the sly side. Mm -hmm. um, not a bad thing. I mean, you're young. Enjoy yourself, you know. But um, uh, stop. Please, uh, yeah. <laughs> but if I were a boyfriend, I'd be really mad. Yeah. Oh, but she's told us not to criticize her, so let's talk about the jinx. Okay, so I mean, what kind of jinx do you think this is, though? I mean, do you think the boyfriend might have had her on like radar? You know, the GPS system, where like in Korea we call it singutaki. You know what I mean? And Did like, they have you those? know, yeah, they have oh. it. But you have to be able to like, if you have it and I have it, I have to say okay to oh, have it. I yeah. Connected. It's kind of scarier than the genes itself. I, it is, it is, but I think it was a big coincidence. Maybe. And I, I, I think um, maybe she was just kind of worrying about it more, so it <laughs> seemed that way. Now I'm getting maybe. nervous, uh, but I... But I know a way that, um, how she could end this thing for good. Yeah. And I think, we, I think I know what you you're know, talking you know, about. So I think say it on the count of three? Yes, yeah, okay, so one, two... two. Three. Don't, Don't meet, meet other, other guys. guys. See? No, yeah, there no, we go. no good. Don't meet other guys. <laughs> now, why is it that for some reason I was kind of looking out in the studio, all the females out there kind of just like, um. <laughs> why? I it? didn't. I didn't do. I didn't do. Oh, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh. I see a few people. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. I do. All right. All right now, I think <laughs> it's the best effective solution. I mean, if you're not, I think if you're going to be in a relationship, mm. be in a relationship that is just. Him and you. <laughs> don't try and test the waters. If you're going to test the waters, don't have a boyfriend. Exactly. Mm. But it seems like if you look at this letter, she's bragging kind of. Like that her boyfriend and her are meant to be. It's like destiny. But, mm. uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, um, I maybe, uh, yeah, I just, I don't think that's, 
That yeah. <laughs> um, if you guys were meant to be, you guys were meant to be. Just then, stop meeting other guys. Yeah. I think that's pretty much the best mm -hmm. way to go. So don't fight with your boyfriend and treat him well. Oh, uh, that's that's from the guy's point of view though. That's from the guy's point of view. Now, from my point of view, <laughs> if he ain't boyfriend material, don't be on the spot, girl. You oh. can do better. <laughs> I don't even know who your boyfriend is. <laughs> All right, you're watching all that. You. We didn't really get a chance to tell our viewers how to get over the jinxes. So mm. what could we do to tell them to get over the jinx? Well, it's uh, avoiding the jinx is the best solution. Okay. Avoiding it. Okay. But how can you avoid a jinx? Isn't a jinx a jinx because it's a jinx? <laughs> Unavoidable. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, for example, I had a short letter from Vika from Canada. Okay. And she told us there is something about breakups always following the gift of perfume from a boyfriend. Oh. So she's afraid her qu current boyfriend will buy her a perfume. Okay. So my advice is don't be scared and tell him you don't want a perfume. Oh. So that's the way to avoid the jinx, right? Okay, yeah. So if you feel that once you get perfume from your man that you're going to break up with him, mm. then just tell him I want something else. You know, something small and that sparkle. That's what I always like to say. It's taco pan, taco You know what I mean? So uh, I wonder what, what it is. <laughs> expensive stuff, you know, bling bling, a little bit of ice, you know, and then go back So a little ice goes a long way. So uh, yeah, yeah, I guess you could say you can prevent stuff mm. like that. And, um, and there's an, oh no, 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 just yeah, just that's what I was gonna say. Okay, <laughs> and there's another one. Okay, Let's make another jinx. How can you make another jinx? <laughs> make it, well, okay, jinxes. now Professor Kevin is over here is like, let's change the world here. Just, you know, make another jinx here, you know. <laughs> well, um, jinxes are bad, right? Okay. But do the opposite. Create good jinxes. Okay. For example, like if you dream about a celebrity the night before, then the next day will be good. Okay. Or let's...